an unpolarized light is incident on a system of two crossed polaroids A and B. Now, the second polaroid B is rotated by 30 degree towards A. The percentage of light transmitted through the system is options A 50%, B 30%, C 25% and D 12.5%. Now when you consider a system of two polaroids, I'll call them as A and B. Initially, they are crossed with respect to each other, which means the angle between them was 90 degree. But later on, the second Polaroid is turned through an angle 30 degree. And now the angle between A and B has changed from 90 to 90 minus 30. So the angle now is 90 minus 30. Therefore, it is 60 degree. Now the angle between polarizer and analyzer is 60 degree that is the data given now what are we supposed to find out is of course unpolarized light is incident on a it gets polarized as soon as it passes through the polarizer and it remains polarized even after passing through b and we are supposed to find out the percentage of transmission if i call the initial intensity as i naught and no doubt this light becomes I0 by 2 in intensity irrespective of orientation of A. And now finally the emergent light's intensity let it be I. So using Malus law once again you can write I is equal to I0 by 2 into cos square theta. So this is I0 by 2 into cos square 60 degree cos 60 is half therefore cos square 60 is 1 by 4 so emergent intensity becomes equal to i naught by 8 and how do you find the transmission intensity in percentage so i by i naught is 1 by 8 and now this is the fraction of incident light which gets transmitted if you want the percentage of this multiply this by 100 so this becomes I by I naught into 100 will give you the transmission percentage that is 100 by 8 that is 12.5 percent so 12.5 percent let's go to the next question plane polarized light is passed through an analyzer intensity of emerging light is reduced by 75 percent Optical vibrations make an angle theta with the analyzer. Then theta is options A 60 degree, B 45 degree, C 30 degree and D 58 degree. Now dear students, again it's a system of two polaroids. One is the polarizer and the other one is analyzer. So this is polarizer. This is analyzer. The angle between their axis is given by theta and that's what we are supposed to find out. The data mentioned here is that if the intensity of light incident on the analyzer, let me call that light as I0 which is incident on the analyzer and after passing through analyzer its intensity gets reduced by 75 percent. That's an interesting data. When the intensity gets reduced by 75 percent it means that it has to come down to 25 percent. So here the emergent light intensity, let me call it as I, should be 25% of I0 or in other words, I0 divided by 4. Now using this idea, we are supposed to find out the angle of inclination between polarizer and analyzer. So by using Malus law, you can write I is equal to I0 cos square theta. So this has to be learnt like this. The emergent intensity is equal to incident intensity into cos square theta that's how 
we have to make use of the formula so i is given to be i naught by 4 that is equal to i naught into cos square theta or you can cancel i naught over here therefore cos square theta is 1 by 4 or cos theta is half so theta should be 60 degree therefore option a is the right answer now take a look at the next question dear students a beam of natural light falls on a system of five polaroids which are arranged in succession such that the pass axis of each polaroid is turned through 60 degree with respect to the preceding one the fraction of the incident light intensity that passes through the system is options a 1 by 32 b 1 by 256 C 1 by 128 and D 1 by 512. Now, this is a question on system of Polaroids. There are five Polaroids which are arranged in such a way that a Polaroid makes an angle of 60 degree with the preceding one. So, in other words, theta remains the constant here. See, we have already studied that if you have n number of polaroids arranged then the emergent intensity can be written as i n is equal to i naught by 2 into cos square theta whole raised to the power of n minus 1. Here n refers to the number of polaroids and theta is the angle between any two polaroids which are in succession. Now theta is given to be 60 degree in this problem and n is 5. So you can always find out what is I5 that is the emergent light intensity but what is asked is the fraction of the incident light that gets emerged or in other words it is I5 divided by I0 that is what we are supposed to find out. Now take a look at the problem when you have three such polaroids if the intensity of the unpolarized light incident is i naught then if i name them as p1 p2 and p3 which are these three polaroids now the intensity of light passing through the first polaroid if it is i1 and passing through second polaroid is i2 and third one is i3 then you can always write I1 as I0 by 2 irrespective of the orientation of P1. Now if you want to write I2 you, you should make use of Malus law which says that I2 is equal to I1 cos square theta where theta is the angle between P1 and P2. Similarly if you want to write I3 the formula is I3 is equal to I2 cos square theta but i2 is i1 cos square theta so finally you can write i3 is equal to i0 by 2 into cos square theta whole raised to the power of 2. So similarly if you have n number of polaroids you can write i n is equal to i0 by 2 into cos square theta whole raised to the power of n minus 1. This is the formula that we are using now. Now for 5 polaroids I can write I5 is equal to I0 by 2 which remains always the same into cos square theta is given to be 60 degree whole raised to the power of 5 minus 1. So I5 is equal to I0 by 2 into cos 60 is 1 by 2 the square of 1 by 2 is 1 by 4 whole raised to the power of 4. So what are we supposed to find out is I5 divided by I0 that is equal to 1 by 2 into 4 to the power 4 is 16 square is 256. So this is 1 divided by 256. So this has to be equal to 1 divided by 512. So that is the fraction of incident light that gets transmitted through the system that is equal to 1 by 512 therefore option D must be the correct answer. Now let's take an important type of problem dear students. 
Three polaroids are placed one above the other such that the first and the last polaroids are crossed with each other. If the angle between the first two polaroids is 45 degree, then what percentage of incident light is transmitted through the combination of three polaroids? Options A 0, B 12.5%, C 25% and D 50%. Dear students, it's a system of three polaroids. If you call them as P1, P2 and P3, let me incident light on the first polaroid. Let the intensity of the incident light be I0. Obviously, it is unpolarized. Now, after passing through the first polaroid, this light of intensity I0 gets polarized and will be of the intensity I1 which is equal to I0 by 2. Now after passing through P2, let the intensity be I2 and finally after passing through the third polaroid, let the emergent intensity be I3. And uh, it is mentioned that the angle of orientation between the first two polaroids is 45 degree. Let me call it as theta 1, 45 degree. And it is also mentioned that P1 and P3 are crossed with respect to each other. When they are crossed, that means theta is equal to 90 degree. So, initially, the angle between P1 and P3 is 90 degree. So, when you place the second polaroid in between the two polaroids then the angle between first two polaroids is 45 degree and similarly the angle between the second and third polaroid will also be 45 degree so let me write that as theta 2 which is 45 degree now using malus law we'll have to find out i3 but remember i3 has to be expressed in percentage of i0 Right, I3 can be written as I0 by 2 which is the intensity on the second polaroid which comes out of the polaroid P2 and it will be of the intensity I0 by 2 into cos square theta 1. Since theta 1 and theta 2 are same let me write simply it as theta into it passes through another polaroid P3 then its intensity becomes this intensity into cos square theta 2. So when you substitute the values this is I0 by 2 into cos square 45 into cos square 45. So this is I0 by 2 into 1 by root 2 is cos 45 whole square of which becomes 1 by 2 similarly 1 by 2. So this is equal to I0 divided by 8 is the incident intensity So this becomes I0 by 8 and that is the final emergent intensity I3. But the question is what percentage of incident light gets emerged? So to find the percentage of the emergent light or the percentage of emergence, you can find it out by using I3 by I0 into 100. So that's how we calculate the percentage of emitted light. So that is i3 by i0 is nothing but 1 by 8 therefore this is 1 by 8 into 100 is 12.5 percent so option b must be the correct answer now let's take up the next question dear students two polaroids are placed in the path of unpolarized beam of intensity i0 such that no light is emitted from the second polaroid if the third polaroid whose polarization axis makes an angle theta with that of first polaroid is placed between these two polaroids, then the intensity of light emerging from the last polaroid will be options A I0 by 8 sin square 2 theta, B I0 by 4 sin square 2 theta, C I0 by 2 cos power 4 theta, 
and d i not cos power 4 theta now in the system there are initially two polaroids kept such that no light comes out of the second polaroid what does it mean when the two polaroids are kept crossed with respect to each other or in other words when the angle between their pass axis is 90 degree then no light comes out of the analyzer or the second polaroid so initially it is mentioned that the angle between the two polaroids is 90 degree and now if the third polaroid is kept in between these two polaroids then there is some transmission and the transmission intensity is supposed to be found out now let's write down the initial condition now the angle between p1 and p3 is 90 degree the angle between p1 and p2 is theta therefore the angle between p2 and p3 should be 90 minus theta now by making use of malus law you can write i2 is equal to i1 cos square theta similarly i3 can be written as i2 into cos square 90 minus theta now in place of i2 i'll substitute that is i1 cos square theta into cos square 90 minus theta i1 can be written as i0 by 2 as we have already discussed into cos square theta into cos of 90 minus theta is sin theta and there is square for this so this is sin square theta so this is our i3 that is the emergent intensity now this i3 can be further written as i naught by 2 as it is and you have cos square theta into sin square theta which can be written as sin theta into cos theta whole square sin theta into cos theta whole square sin theta into cos theta can be written as sin 2 theta when you multiply and divide the same by 2 so have a look at this this is i naught by 2 into inside the bracket i have sin theta into cos theta which i'll write it as 2 sin theta into cos theta divided by 2 and of course there is a square so this is equal to i naught by 2 into 2 sin theta into cos theta is sin 2 theta divided by 2 there is square as well so i3 is equal to i naught by 2 into sin square 2 theta divided by 4 so simplification i3 is equal to i naught by 8 into sin square 2 theta which is the emergent light intensity so this is given in option a therefore option a is the correct answer